I have opened up the Excel 2007 program and up at the top you can see it's titled computers so down below what I'd like to do is to be able to take all these records import it into a new database as a table up at the top you can see I have the row header a label for each column like the department name last name first name asset tag and so on to get started I'm gonna close out of the Excel workbook and you can see right here there it is computers in the exercise folder I'm gonna open up the access program by double clicking on my shortcut to it double click in the center here I'm going to click on the blank database over to the right it'll ask me two questions first what's the name of your database and then second of all where do you want to dump it of course the default address here is pointing to the exercise folder if I don't like it I can click on the browse button and find something else and then make a change to the desktop or whatever however if the majority of times it's always going to be in the exercise folder or on my desktop you can change the default address here by coming up and clicking on the office logo button going down to access options where it says popular here the category come down here and change the default database folder by clicking on the browse button and choosing your desktop or another folder then click OK then come back here click OK and that's where it will create the new database now for the file name, I'm going to come up here and delete that and type in order details. Then when I'm finished, there's the name of the new database and there's where it's going to be dumping it, the exercise folder on my desktop, click create. When I'm finished, it wants to help out here by creating a new table, but I don't want to create, I want to import for my computer's workbook. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of the new table here. And then to import, come up here, click on the external data tab, come down to the import group and click on the Excel button. Opens up the window here and it says, okay, where is that workbook? I'm going to click on the browse button here and then my it's in my exercise folder on my desktop so I'll click desktop double click exercise folder and then there it is computers double click on that the address is pointing right to it and what I want to do is I want to import the source data into a new table don't want to link it so basically I'm finished come down here click OK it's got a little wizard it says well the data you're importing how do you want to import it for example remember in the Excel workbook up at the top I had a label for each column the department code department name last name and so on well by default it picked up on that and it checked that the first row contains column headings. If I uncheck it, then the department code in this case is going to be part of the data down below the numbers, which doesn't make sense. So I want to say, look, these are just column labels for each of these columns here, and that's what we'll convert into the table here. What I had as labels in the Excel workbook will be the column labels in the new table. Click Next. Now what you're importing here, you can make some changes like the field name. So when I click on the department code column I can change it to department code 2 add whatever I want I'm gonna delete that you can also see what data type it's gonna be converting this column into in this case the department code field it's the double data type click on department name it's gonna be a text data field last name text so far it's everything that I like and if I don't make any changes here and I go ahead and create the table and I decided later on well wait a second this is gonna be a long integer field here that's okay you can always go into the design view and make the changes there so you can do it here or in the design view after click next let access add the primary key for me by default it's selected and you can see over to the left hand side it's gonna be auto numbered so for every record it's gonna be starting with the first number one two three four and all the way up to as many as I have that I'm importing here of course you can say no primary key and add it later on in the design view or you can choose your own primary key like if there's a field here that's unique of course department code isn't the department name isn't because I have duplicates IT 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 asset tag mm, perhaps I mean each computer should be unique or different but the default here let access create a, an extra field here and auto numbering it one two three sounds good to me click next and then finally give my table a name so I'll delete this and call it TBL and then click finish now before it imports it gives me the opportunity to save my import steps meaning that if I want to import from the same address again then I can go ahead and check this box and down below I can name my saved import here and by default it's called import tables computers and that's fine type in a description if I'd like I'm okay with that and click on save and I'll show you in the next training video how to uh, activate those saved imports meaning that if somebody updates the Excel workbook my computers and they add new records just after I imported it well all I have to do is activate that saved import and it'll pull in any updates but first of all let's take a look at our computers table here notice how it says TBL computers and then colon tables that's just the view here so if I click on the drop down arrow in my navigation pane it's tables and related views where I can do it by object type and then if I had any additional objects it would put them in their own groups here like queries reports and so on and it gets rid of that so all I'm looking at is TBL computers but that's up to you double click open it up there's the new auto number field that it added the unique ID field here the primary key and then all the rest department code 
was the column label in the Excel workbook. It's now the column label for this column here. Department name, last name, and so on. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.